Hey everybody, it's Katie from Ray & Company Face Painting and Body Art. Welcome to the Ray & Co Insiders channel where I like to encourage other creative women to start a face painting hobby and turn it into a marketable business. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to do uh, how to paint jellyfish for an under the sea event theme. So let's paint. I have the supplies laid out on the table and so now would be a good time to pause the video if you wanted to take um, a quick note of that. Otherwise, do check the description and I will um, be sure to make note of all the supplies that I used here in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a tag Magnolia Magenta One Stroke. I'm going to mist it off camera here with my mister bottle just so I don't get my practice board too wet. Oops, my brush was too wet. Um, but, and let me zoom in here for you. Okay, so I'm going to take these end colors here. Might be a little too wet, but here's what that looks like. And we're just going to go ahead and get a little jellyfish action going on here. Jellyfish are kind of like bean shaped uh, or they're like bell shaped, bean shaped. I don't know, that looks actually pretty good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add one up here. And the brush that I'm using uh, here is the Big Drop brush by Silly Farm. So you can uh, check that out. It's uh, just a filbert brush. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and while that's drying, I'm going to reach for a finger dauber and I'm going to use this Aussie Mermaid Arty Brush Cake. Give that a mist off camera to activate it. And these finger daubers are really um, helpful for, well, creating, we're going to use them today to create bubbles, but it's just a, a great quick way to get circles and it needs to be, I'm just testing it on the skin. I'm seeing that, oops, you can't see that. Uh, it needs just a little bit, needs to get a little bit wetter. So I'm gonna mist both my one stroke and my finger dauber off camera here. That should do the trick. Okay, so I've got my finger dauber handy and I'm just gonna sneak in some bubbles here and I'm just gonna give it kind of like a twist. So we'll go like this. We'll come over here, go like that, and now we've got some bubbles, which is awesome. All right, one of the things that I forgot to do is I'm going to go ahead and load up this filbert brush again with the same magenta and sort of like burgundy that I've got going on over here. And I'm just going to come under here. And you could probably do this with a, a smaller filbert brush, but just kind of give it some wiggles. And I'm going to just go right over the top of this again so that it kind of looks like it's, you know, coming from underneath. So we'll just clean that up a hair. We don't have a line today, so why not? All right, so that's kind of like the middle of the jellyfish. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some light purple. So I have this, I think, uh, I think this is a light purple by Graftobian. I have been meaning to kind of go through my solids and just kind of make note of everything that I have in here. It's really a good practice to do that. Um, uh, I got some of these when I really first started face painting. And so, oops, let's go back over here. Um, and so I don't have everything written down. Okay, so we are just going to uh, give these some swirls like this. And you can kind of, um, kind of have it going. I'm gonna grab, grab a little bit more purple. You can have these sort these sort of tentacles. This one's gonna just go kind of underneath 
this other jellyfish and I think it's going to be coming out right around here so we'll just give it an illusion that it's passing through this other jellyfish or behind it and then how about some over here and if you kind of uh, point them over like one way or the other it kind of gives this illusion that there's a current coming over from this side so you don't have to do that but you know, jellyfish are real flowing creatures, so maybe something like that. Okay, cool. It's shaping up nicely, don't you think? I like it. I'm liking it. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab, um, I'm going to take this liner brush, and I need a new one of these. This is just something I picked up from uh, the craft store. The brand and everything is all worn off, so... I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me move this over just ever so slightly. I'm grabbing an eggplant. I do know that this is from a Graftobian. It's a Madison, Wisconsin based company. Um, and I'm in the US, so I like to try to support local businesses when I can. All right, so this is like an eggplant color, which is really pretty. And so we're just gonna come in here and give these jellyfish a little more um, a few more tentacles and lay on top of that lavender color just bring in some darker purple and it just kind of adds a little bit to it come up over here this and we'll add some over here now this purple that I'm using is not um, you'll notice that I'm dipping into it quite a bit it is and I probably don't have to dip into it that much but it's better suited for sponge work I think it's a glycerin based paint so it's not as awesome for line work um, so you have to dip into it a little bit more frequently. All right, I'm just gonna use that same brush that we've got going on here and outline these guys. So when you are outlining, um, if you're brand new to face painting, one of the tips that I have for when you're outlining, um, it took me a while to learn this, but, and I was getting so frustrated because I was like, I cannot, for the life of me control the width of my stroke and I couldn't figure out why and it's really just because I um, mean if you keep your brush pretty much perpendicular to your work surface um, then you'll have a little bit greater control there are times when you have to um, tilt your brush a little bit but um, if you can kind of keep it perpendicular to what you're working on you'll have greater control over what it does and the thickness of your strokes and all of that stuff. So, all right, it's coming together. So we're gonna add some there. It just kind of gives it the illusion a little bit of, um, of like the jellyfish kind of curving in there. So that's why I did that. And now I'm just going to grab one of my round brushes. I'm just going to grab a number three round. This one is, this purple handled one is a blazing brush by Marcella Bustamante. Um, so I have several different brands. Um, I tend to reach for my Paint Pal uh, and these glazing brush the most. But then we're gonna just give these bubbles a little bit of a highlight. So um, I'm gonna go on the, the lighter side of these shapes and I'm just gonna kind of go like this and then kind of give it a wiggle just to blend it in a little bit. And let's go ahead, since we have all the time in the world right now, uh, we'll go ahead and give these guys a little 
highlights. I'm a big fan of highlights. It just adds a little pop to the design, brightens everything up a little bit. Super easy way to do that. Um, so I'm kind of a fan. Not everybody does highlights and you certainly don't have to. Um, okay. Then I think what we're going to do is come in here and just put in some bubbles. You know what? This one is just a touch too big for my liking. I'm going to rinse out that liner brush that I was using before for the dark purple and come into my white. I'm going to come into my white. I actually have way too much in there. Way too much water. We'll see if this will work. This brush really needs to be replaced. I do love it, um, but it's I've had it for a couple of years now, and it needs to be needs to be replaced. You can tell that I have my water or my <laughs> my white way too wet right now, but that's all right. We'll work with it. Okay, so back in with a little bit of a bigger brush. I'm just going to make some dots now, but I'm just doing little bubbles and kind of just filling in the design uh, here and there. Now, if the, if the child was, um, you know, facing me, I might be able to see a little bit more what I'm doing. So I probably curve these bubbles a little bit down towards the nose. Um, I like them to kind of climb up can kind of do something like that. I think that's cute. We'll do one down here. I don't see it's going to be a big, thick one, though. Okay. What do you guys think of that? I think that's super pretty. I really like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, if you um, check out the description, I have a couple of um, resources in there for you guys in terms of supplies. That's a big question that I get. Um, one of the most frequently asked questions I get when I'm on the job. So uh, you can check out that. I have a guide in there. Let me grab it. Um, I have a guide in the this thing. How to build your first uh, face painting starter kit. There's a link to this in the description. And there's also um, a link where you can find the printables to make your own super cheap DIY practice board. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.